Hello, I'm Penny Melville Brown from Baking Blind. I don't see at all. I can't even tell whether it's light or dark. But I don't let anything stop me from getting the very best out of life. As you can see from all the videos of me cooking around the globe. Virginia Beach was the location for my second visit to America and it was completely different from San Francisco. I'm back with fellow Navy veteran Rich who's showing me how to barbecue fish. But first we started with the sautéed vegetables. And Rich, I'm being really fussy and I'm peeling the celery. Why are you doing that? I never peel celery. Well, he never gets those little um, bits of string between your teeth. And especially if you're having something like a Waldorf salad or something, so I'm trying to get rid of those. Well, I just use those pieces of string for floss. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add some uh, robust Kornecki, I may have mispronounced it, but a uh, olive oil from Greece. Uh, we have a great shop here in Virginia Beach. Gosh, I can smell that. Savor of the olive, it's, it's wonderful yeah. stuff. Fabulous. And uh, we'll let that heat up a little bit, and then we have our tray of vegetables. Uh, Peeled and chopped. Yep. Yeah. So that's the carrots, celery, well no, carrots and onions. Yeah. We have had oh, a, a, a great comparison of gadgets this morning, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah. We both love gadgets in the kitchen. The slingshot potato peeler or vegetable peeler. Yeah. And the knife sharpener. The, and the different things for slicing and crushing garlic. That's right. But Rich, you, you've got a navy contact too. And I think you're wearing some of it, something that shows your navy contact. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is your apron. This is my apron uh, that is a farewell gift from a, a chief, a senior chief petty officer, who worked for me. And, and so, what is on this apron? Uh, well, we have a, kind of a layout of the command, uh, like different colors, exactly. Uh, I'm not going to trace my finger all over <laughs> the apron. I may get to the wrong bit of the map. <laughs> All the garlic is in. Okay, we're going to let that saute a little, come to life, then we can add the chicken stock. Right, let this me... This is your homemade chicken stock. The homemade chicken stock. So how much do you think we should put in? Well, I would put in a good couple of cups now and let it reduce. Okay. And because actually that's going to... When we reduce it, and that will cook the um, potatoes, and that can be really sucked in it, and we can add a little more if we want some. Then we moved on to the fish. I put... Uh, crushed black pepper, uh, ground pepper, and some coarse sea salt, uh, along with the olive oil on the uh, fish. And now we're just gonna add a little lemon. And you were saying this fish was caught very locally. Yesterday. 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 And, and they sell it absolutely pretty much off the boat, I think. Right, the, the boat pulls up to the dock and the fish market is on the dock. Oh, wow. This part of Virginia is known for its uh, yep. crab, so they have live crab there, uh, oysters, uh, some of the best oysters in the world. Okay, so we're going to whisk this out to your Right, we're, re we're ready to go. Okay. Richard heated the coals in a pile for about 20 minutes and then spread them before putting on the grill and the fish with a small pan of applewood chips straight on the charcoal. And, we're and now we all stand around looking at it <laughs> and you know this is where you're supposed to pass out the drinks isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> so tell me a bit more about all your jobs in the Navy. Well I, I was a surface warfare officer mm -hmm. for about 26 years. Uh, served on five ships. I was in command. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. Saw the world. Obviously uh, met and worked with literally thousands of people yeah. uh, and you know we have that bond because you served as well yeah yeah um, and actually it's the people that make it all that's right wonderful, isn't it? yes it is um, the jobs are interesting fascinating stimulating but it's the people and working with people people like us actually isn't it? <laughs> yes <laughs> we have lots of shared values um, lots of similar approaches to working with each other, working through tasks. And I think we tend to be very task orientated, don't you think? Well, it certainly helps in cooking. <laughs> yeah. I've taken the top off. Wow. It's I been 14 smell. minutes. I can hear you 
and you can see the smoke there. Well, I can smell the smoke. Yeah, and I'm putting this on because my hands are starting to burn. Yeah, and, and that fish, I tell you what, that apple smoke makes a huge oh, difference, yeah. I think. In your bed? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And next time, Wendy is showing me some traditional Irish recipes in America. There's more about my Virginia Beach adventures and all my wonderful world tour with Baking Blind on the YouTube channel and on Facebook. All the recipes are on my website www.bakingblind.com